Hey guys, it's Scott here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And today I have something to show you that's going to change the way I do things forever. And it's called the switch pod. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and thanks for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. That way I know I'm on the right track and I'll continue making videos like this. All right, let's get to this, the switch pod. This little tripod, there was a Kickstarter several months back. I saw some other uh, YouTubers reviewing it. And as soon as I saw a couple of those videos, I went right over to the Kickstarter page and I bought one because I thought it was a great idea and I just really like the design. And let me show you why. I picked one up for myself. So let's take a look at what's inside this box. It's got a magnetic top that flips open and inside there's a foam that's cut out to perfectly fit the tripod so it fits in there pretty snug so it's a good place to put it away. And when you take it out, it's pretty light. There are cutouts on the back of the tripod for your fingers to hold on to. There's a big knob here to tighten and loosen your camera. And here's the really cool thing about this tripod and why I think you're gonna get one and people are, this is gonna start catching on like crazy, is right now it's for vlogging and I'm holding it, right? But I can flip it out and there it is, it's a tripod and it's pretty sturdy. Now granted, compared to like the Gorilla Pod with the bendy legs, um, this seems like it needs to be like I'm using now on a table or a flat surface so you can bounce it, especially if you don't have a ball head on top of the tripod so you can adjust your camera and get balance. So that would be something I'd be looking to add right away and maybe something down the road that these guys can uh, offer as an accessory, an add-on. But uh, what I'm thinking is since I have this Gorillapod, that I'll probably get another one of these ball heads because it has the nice level in it. And the part that attaches the camera get, just snaps out. So if I have another ball head attached here, I could leave this attached to my camera and just go from one tripod to the other in a quick, timely fashion. So that's my thought of maybe down the road, I'll show you when I do that. But this is a nice, a nice tripod. It's light. It feels good in your hand. It really forms to your fingers. You get a really good grip on it. You feel like pretty stable. It's already in position when you're holding it and you can just level the camera or tilt it and get a good shot. So enough of me talking about it. Why don't I take the camera that's we're using to shoot this and put it on here and we'll do a little bit of vlogging and you see what it looks like. I just wanna show you how easy it is to attach the camera to the tripod. So you have your typical tripod mount, you line up the screw hole with the screw and there's this big knob that's just very easy. You just turn it and it's attached. If you turn it the right way first, it goes a lot faster, but now it's attached. It's simple as that. All right, so now I have the camera attached to the switch pod. It feels pretty good in my hand. It feels pretty sturdy. It's aluminum and uh, it doesn't feel like cheap aluminum. It feels very strong. I can definitely have a heavier camera on this switch pod if uh, it could handle a DSLR for sure. I kind of like the way it feels. I feel a little more stable than when I am with the Gorilla Pod. The way the handle works fitting into your hand, you, you're not struggling around the three bulky Gorilla Pod legs. This fits in good, it has the cutouts for your fingers. So I feel like I have really good grip on this camera. And there is a little thing that I figured out you could do with this tripod that you can't do with any other tripod because it has a built-in swish pan. It's a swish pan. You can do that. You can just open the legs, use both hands. You open the legs, the camera will spin around 
and you spin it back and now I'm outside. You can't do that with any other tripod. I really like this tripod. I'm gonna give it a good run, do some more vlogs. I think I'm gonna get that ball head and add to it. You know what I noticed with this tripod as well? You can hold it with both of your arms and get a little more steady base. Like, let me show you what I mean. So right now I'm just walking and holding this. I have two of the legs and here comes Barkley. Hey Barkley, smelling anything good over there? So it gives you a little more stable base if you're trying to track something or someone. So you can hold two of the legs in your hands and stabilize your shot a little better. So that's another little cool trick. Overall, I really like it. I'm happy I backed it. I'm happy I'm one of the earlier backers and I got this so soon. And let me know what you think. Is this something you guys would be into? I'll put a link to their website. I'm not affiliated with these guys. It's just something I got for myself and I really liked it. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. Barkley and I are going to play with this a little more. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and keep chasing those dreams. You guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Ready to go inside? All right. Hey, Kylo.